Hello and welcome. I am Gary and Reva, and today I'm going to be talking about the confirmed and hinted at details of Dishonored 2 from the E3 Bethesda Showcase. There is a lot less information about Dishonored 2 than there is about Fallout 4, but I thought there was enough to make this video worth it. To be honest, most of the information we know about Dishonored 2 comes from the trailer shown at E3, and I have an analysis video which will be linked at the end where I go through this trailer in detail. So, first things first, I mentioned it in the trailer one as well, this is set 15 years after the first game, and in the developer's words, an otherworldly usurper has seized the throne. This is seizing the throne from Emily Caldwin from Dishonored 1. One of the most interesting things about Dishonored 2 is you will be able to play as one of two characters, either Corvo from the first game, or Emily Caldwin herself, and they'll each have their own powers, gadgets and weapons. It was shown in the trailer and confirmed by the developers that Emily will be using Corvo's sword, so maybe that's why you won't be able to switch between them, maybe something has happened to Corvo in Emily's story so that you can't switch, and they did make a reference to that, saying that it makes sense in the story why you can't switch. But Emily's powers are completely separate, they're non-overlapping with Corvo's, except maybe Time Stop as shown in the trailer. But she won't even have a blink ability, instead she gets something called Far Reach, which was also shown in the trailer. They also specified that she would have her own animations, movements, and assassinations. I assume that's assassination animations, because another thing they said is that they will be sharing the same missions. It's going to take the Dishonored 1 approach to the campaign, where it's a series of missions. So at the start of the campaign, you choose a character and you play the entire thing as that character. And they've specifically said there will be no co-op, which I'm rather pleased about. And the last bit of information we have, and this was again mentioned in the trailer, the story will take place on Sakonus, which is the home island of Corvo and Dowd, in the capital city of Karnaka. And that is about all the information we actually have. There's very little... It was most of that came from the developers uh, doing an interview after the showcase itself, and the whole E3 Bethesda showcase is linked in the description. I suggest you check it out if you're interested in that sort of thing. Thank you very much for watching. I will continue to provide information as it becomes available, and I'm really looking forward to Dishonored 2. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you later.